Good morning, Jeff. Papa's been up since 5.25 this morning. It's 8.21 now. And I'm going to do a southern dish. I know a lot of southern people that's on our channel probably know what I'm doing to do. Um, me and my wife talked about it last night and was like, well, let's try a southern dish. So we're going to do a southern dish. I got... I'm trying to think how many pounds that was. Seven pounds of beef tips I bought yesterday. And um, I'm going to make southern beef tips and gravy with mashed potatoes. Probably some squash or I mean probably some zucchini tonight too. Fry some zucchini with it. Um, so probably some fried zucchini, um, mashed potatoes, and southern beef tips. So the recipe that I seen on our Facebook, um, I pulled it up. I didn't like the way they did it. So I looked up a southern lady's recipe and I was like, well, it ain't too bad, so I, I just going to make my own recipe because it fit for my family. But I thought it was neat how she did it. She did pit rosemary and thyme in hers. But she got it out of her garden. This is fresh rosemary and thyme. Um, she put a little bit of onions and green peppers in it. There's some things I'm going to use that she did and some things I, I ain't going to use. But she put some other stuff in it. I can't remember what it was. Um, I got some onion soup mix that I'm going to do because it, it makes more better flavor. But before we keep going on, we want to welcome the new subscribers that we've written down their names finally. Um, we had time early today before we started the video, we had to write names down. And the big thing is why we do this to shout people out trying to shout people out is sometimes we don't get your name so that's the reason why we can't shout you out that's why we always say thank you for subscribing because we don't get your name sometimes we just get certain names and the rest of them don't show up and we don't know why but mama's going to read them out so go ahead mama Tony Armstrong Diamond Dia Rosemary Place, Sauce Secre Secrete, John Tries to Cook, Carmen Gonzalez, LA Cuisine Cooking Channel, Vostor Gina, Storm Striker SX9, John Planick, Pivovaria, Lynn Cosby, Jack Doan, Lunch underscore Box underscore 74 underscore, and Josh Camp. Welcome to the channel, y'all. And if I ain't shout your guys' name out or anything, I uh, would really appreciate uh, you guys uh, send us a comment saying that we didn't shout you out. What do you got now, Mom? We only need... 86 more to get to one one K subscribers and we only need 25 more public watch hours to get to 3k that's all because of you guys and I'm being honest it's all you guys that are sitting there watching these videos and we do appreciate it we're close on getting a thousand subscribers and we're close on getting 3,000 public watch hours. Man, it's all because of you guys. Yep, this channel wouldn't be possible without you guys. Mm. It's a lot of work. I'm a minute. I've been doing videos every other day. Actually, yeah, every other day. And Mama posts the next day. Um, yeah. Like the one you got yesterday on Sunday. I was just telling you guys that I couldn't make a video on Sunday because what I had to do yesterday. And the, the seventh of every month is when we do our grocery shopping. That's our our time when we go do grocery shopping. Yes, we do go sometimes uh, a couple more times a month, but 
Usually seventh of the month is when we do our grocery shopping. And you don't like going on Sundays, though. I I hate going on Sundays, but because <clears throat> it's a madhouse on Sundays, and plus that hurricane going on right now, people are really being crazy out there. They'll run you over with their shopping cart. Yep. Yeah. Um. So we're, what we're getting ready to do is go ahead and make this. Um, Beef tips and gravy. Southern beef tips and gravy. <clears throat> so the, the southern lady, she would make, use beef base. But I'm going to use living soup mix because it brings out a lot of flavors in the meat. Plus, this smells so delicious always. And I'm going to use two packages. Did we ever show how much of that we buy at Sam's? I think we have. It's... A big box of it. Yeah, I buy a big box of it because I use it in a lot of a lot of recipes that I use it in um, every time. So the next thing I'm gonna do is um, add garlic to it. She didn't add garlic to it. No. So. Garlic is your preference. You prefer it. Put it in. If you don't, don't put it in. I think garlic will give it more flavor. Um, and then mm -hmm. they add a little bit of black pepper to your taste. There's some people like a lot of black pepper. There's some people like less. Mm -hmm. I do what my family likes. And... She didn't add onion powder to it, but I'm going to add onion powder to it because it's got onion in it. And I'll help out the flavors of the onion. And another thing she didn't add to it was garlic powder. Um, so I'm going to add a little garlic powder. All garlic powder does is just help out the flavor. To me, it makes it taste good. And I, so I got all that in there. I'm going to take this. Mix it all up. You need to get your thing ready for football tonight. Yes, Lloyd Billy's back in football, y'all. It's coming real soon. Tonight's the first night of conditioning camp, and I'm trying to get him to get motivated. Yes, he has to do conditioning camp. Dang, that's spicy hot. Huh? So I got the mean all marinated together, and I'm gonna add. I'll add two to add two cups of water in it, and I'll stick it in the crock, and I'll cook the rest of the day by two o'clock. I mean, I'll come back on that part, show you guys the gravy part, how to make the gravy. It's pretty easy. Like I always do, is a little bit of flour and mix it up, stir these meat in it. Good to go, is that right, Mama? Mm hmm And I'll make mashed potatoes, and then Mama's going to fry some um, zucchini. We're going to have zucchini tonight. We've got plenty of zucchini and squash. I mean, we're coming down to the wire on zucchini and squash. It's just like coming out left and right. Not coming down to the wire. We're still just loaded out there. It's going crazy on us. And... <laughs> We got two watermelons almost ready. Yep. And I'm going to eat them. Um, we're happy about that. So this is what it looks like without the water. Picked another cucumber yesterday. Yeah. It'll be among this Huh? It might be in that pile there. Isn't it? Mm -mm. There was no coconuts. But. I'm just trying to do a video for you guys. Like I said, I'm trying to do videos Wait, every to... other day. Um, I try to do a video the day before because the reason why. Hey, there's the zucchinis. The biggest zucchini we got. Um, we try to do videos for you guys every other day. And the reason why I try to do videos the day before so it can be out that morning. Because most of you guys live in different parts of the world. 
and I do appreciate the people that are from different parts of the world watching the videos. Um, please watch them every day because you guys that live in different parts of the world, uh, your hours are different than ours. You might have nighttime and we have daytime, or we have nighttime and you guys got daytime, whatever. And there is some part of the world that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then the reason why we try to do these every other day and I do it um, the day before is because that day before doing that video gets out in the morning the people that are in nighttime might get to see it at night the people that are in daytime get to see it during the day that's just weird you know but that's part of the world. That's how the world runs. It's just like if you work night shift. Yep. So, and if you work third shift and you come home from third shift and you watch the video, there you go. You got a video already. So, that's another reason why I do these videos because I love doing them. I enjoy being, seeing all the new followers and all the new people, all the comments and stuff. We really do appreciate it. We like to know where everybody's from, too. Yes. I'm from a little part of town, a little tiny town called Coal Valley. That's where I'm from. Yeah, fly on your head. He's been bugging me all day. We can't seem to catch that dang fly. That's Henry. Oh, I caught him. As Henry. And he thinks he's caught him, guys. Henry the fly, he's been bugging me all day. I got him finally. So what I'm going to do is get these on. I know there was something else I wanted to say. I don't remember. What's that fly swatter? What else are we supposed to do? Oh, and you guys ain't been seeing Sissy Hillbilly in the videos. The reason why. Jews. No. Why? I got food over here. Thank you. I got food over here, buddy. And Ruby said hi. She's still with Grandma. She'll be there till the 17th. Next week. Mm-hmm. And then she'll be back. Yeah. She's just spending time with Grandma. Yes. We hear you, Ruby. Enough. Mm. Ruby's in a bad mood because we didn't take her grocery shopping yesterday. It would have been too warm for her to be in the vehicle. Yeah. But uh, another thing... I would uh, like to see you guys pray for Texas and Jamaica, part of Mexico, all the people that are in this hurricane right now. In the path of the hurricane. And um, bless them where they won't be hurt too bad and no deaths. There is deaths in Jamaica, I know that. Unfortunately. But, but, that's part of Mother Nature. You don't know when she's going to form a storm. You don't know when she's going to unleash her anger. Yeah. And she's mad about something, so that's the reason why she unleashed her anger. That's what my grandma would say. She's mad about something. You guys did something. That's what she would say. I always laugh with grandma. My grandma Edward, she was funny. She was a very religious lady. I mean, a very religious lady. Um... She would always say things that you would you would understand eventually when you got older, you know. And my family that watches these videos know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Gra Grandma was a very religious lady, and she was always yelling at me when I did something wrong. And then when I got older, I realized Grandma was right. <laughs> and I do miss my grandma, because if I had problems, I could call her and everything this fly is bugging the heck out of me but um 
we're gonna get this in the crock and then uh, about two we'll do all the gravy stuff and the mashed potatoes maybe watch mama fried zucchini sound good no mama loves fried zucchini but we love you all and god bless you all take care peace Okay, Papa's back. This is what I do with my zucchini squash. I do egg wash and flour. I put black pepper, garlic, onion powder, celery salt, and uh, smoked pepper, and a little bit of salt. Put it in the flour, mix it up, make the batter. Then I just mix some eggs. Egg wash. Egg wash has got milk in it. Um, a little bit of milk and three eggs. And I just batter it and fry them. That's how I do my squash and zucchini. This is just a zucchini. Zucchini. Sorry. Can't talk. My tongue tagged. As of right now, that's what I'm doing. This is just one. It's a big one. That was that big boy that we got out of the garden. And yes, I know people are going to say something like, how else can you eat it? You can eat it in a salad. You can eat them raw. Um, you can take them and shred them and put them in stir fry if you want to. Um, you can make zucchini bread. Make zucchini bread. You can put it in, um, oh, there's other stuff you can do with it. There's so many stuff. Some people eat it with peanut butter. I think people eat it with peanut butter. That sounds gross. Some people eat it with fruit. Some people eat it with pineapple and mangoes and strawberries all chopped up and cubed. It happens. You can go ahead and put some of these on that grease is hot. If you want to for me, please. And then I'll take over. Yeah, it's... That's the way I'm doing it right now. Um, I got the southern uh, gravy over there made up in the pot. Already did that. Did that earlier. It's sitting on warm. I cooked it on my instant pot slowly but steadily. Not in my instant pot, I mean in my crock pot. Like I said, I was going to do. A crock pot is a miracle worker, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, I'm not going to get this off my hands. Oh, I'm going to get this off my hands. I had to get some of the flour off my hands. I'm waiting for Mama. Some of these in, the, in the pot pan over there. This is how me and Mama does it. I usually bread it. She fries them over there. She does a good job on them. They are delicious. Hi guys. <laughs> we eat the heck out of them. <laughs> Everybody loves them here. Make a mashed potatoes right now too. Um, we're gonna use the beef over mashed potatoes and fried zucchini. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. And uh, another thing, you don't want your zucchini to get too big because if you let it get too big. It gets real tough tasting. Um, you want them about this size. But, um, but, uh, I, I got the big one. If you get the big ones, you know, real big ones, usually what I would do with them would, um, make them in bread or cube them up. And eat them uh, raw, or you can put them in a salad. They're good in a salad. 
saute them in uh, um, people like olive oil, saute it in olive oil and dot the squash in olive oil with some onions and green peppers and put it in the oven and let it bake real slow. It's pretty good that way too. I'm having fun. This is fun right here, guys. Remember, cook's an art. It's an art for everything. When you're cooking, it's an art. I think it is. But I'm out of eggs. I might have to scramble some more eggs. I got them right here. Yeah. I, I need a little juju juice when you get a chance. Put it in there. Just a little bit. That's good. You don't want to put a lot in there. Just want to make them where they're fluffy. Mixing the bags up again. I'm using my fingers this time. Usually I use a fork. Should show you what they look like when she's done there. Show you what they look like, how pretty they are after frying them. They get nice and golden brown and delicious. Here she comes. There you go, guys. Isn't that pretty? So, I'm going to finish this stuff up. I'm going to have Mama stop the camera for a little bit so we can get everything ready for dinner. So, Mama, will you come and shut the camera down for me? And we'll be back in a few minutes to show you guys the rest of the meal. So, we'll be back in a few. Peace. Hi guys. Look at the delicious food. Well, here Billy's getting ready to do the prayer for y'all. Dear Lord, thanks for our food that I have to help our family, just the hurricane victim, and so our channel, and we shall we and Uncle Al and me and help you with conditioning camp tonight. Conditioning camp and everything else. Amen. Thank you, Lola Hillbilly.
Could you give me a word, please, and tell your uncle to come and eat? Well, I really did a good prayer. Um, the new people don't know. Oh. I have a bell that I ring for supper. That it, might hurt your ears. It can get loud. That's the dinner bell. I got that from my mom after she passed. Thank you, little hillbilly. Yep, it's our child bell. But we appreciate you all. Um, and Mama and Hillbilly needs to tell you all the thank you for the birthday wishes. I forgot to tell them that. It ain't my birthday yet. But still, you... It ain't my birthday yet. Even though they said happy birthday, early birthday. Well, if you would look at the comments, you would know. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to have us going crazy <laughs> in there, everybody. So, look down at Amazon. And there's an Amazon wish list in our about section. And we're close to 3,000, y'all. And it's all because of you guys. Yep. So, um... Hit the like button when you watch the video. Um, that helps us with our watch hours, Click too. that bell, too, because it'll tell you when our videos are up. Yep. And hit the bell. Subscribe. And send us a message if you want us to shout you out in the video. Because some of the times we don't get the notification that you guys are new subscribers. And if I butchered your name, I'm sorry. Yeah. She's the one that says them. <laughs> I just say, welcome to the channel. <laughs> I'll admit. So, take care, y'all, and God bless you, and have a safe. Peace.